Hi there. This is Jian Jian from Spokane Public Library and welcome back to A Year in the Garden. Two months after we first started building the garden, we have our first major harvest and we actually have been eating with greens from the garden several times now, but today we start the first of our many major harvests, which is to harvest them en masse like this and preserve them for the winter. Today is May 28th and you might think it's a bit too early to prepare for the winter. Actually, far from it, now is the time. Being prepared and thinking ahead, planning ahead is a very big part of self-sufficiency and a part of urban homesteading. So, this is right on time for us and we will be doing this throughout the years. And this is how we keep food for the winter. So, I have harvested two five gallon buckets of this mustard green and we have planted this really on quite a huge quantity of this for the purpose of freezing. So the process of freezing vegetable for the winter is maybe a little bit long and time consuming but quite simple. I have washed this, the biggest most time consuming part of this is washing them. As I have mentioned before, you want to make sure you wash them a couple of times to make sure that all the soil, dirt, and especially pollen, this time of the year there is a lot of tree pollen, all the pollen are washed off. So I spent about 45 minutes washing this in small batches two times. The next step is to cut them to about this size. Bring your water to a boil and the reason that you blanch most vegetables, especially green before you freeze them, is to stop the enzyme action from react, you know, activating all this, continue to act on these vegetables to prevent the loss of flavor, color and especially texture. Once you Put this into the boiling water, it stops that enzyme action to preserve the texture and the nutrient. So bring the water to a boil like this and it doesn't take long. People will tell you that it takes one minute let it boil for one minute to three minutes and that's not true because the longer you boil it, the more nutrients you lost. So, quickly until it comes up to a boil again and sometimes when I get lazy I don't even wait until it comes to a full boil again so then it's basically a assembly line you take them out of the boiling water make sure you drain off the hot water a little bit and you plunge them into icy cold water and the reason for that is so that it can stop cooking to prevent further loss of nutrient because when you cook them like this you do lose a little bit of nutrient then you take them out of the cold water to something draining like this you scoop them up and let it drain until the excess liquid is drained out and you assemble them in a ziplock bag and that's really just that's all there is to it so today we're going to continue cooking until all of this is done and we are going to pack them away at the end when we're done we'll show you how much uh quote we harvest and it may take a long time maybe 45 minutes doing this maybe 30 minutes and this is where your children come in handy this is actually a family event for us but now that the children are not here we carry on the condition carry on the tradition so anyway i will show you in a little bit what the finished product looks like 